Hello friends, today now we are going to learn about modes of reproduction. So means the types of reproduction. So when we are look the reproduction, it will be occurs in plants and animals. So how like it will be happens, what is going on in that organisms, what are types are there. So all it will be given as the modes of the types of reproduction. Commonly when you are look the reproduction means they are going to give the new springs uh, also known as offsprings new generation how like we are going to get new generation in maybe the plants or maybe the animals that it will be called as reproduction new animals like simply we are going to tell that children are in that plants new plants so that is modes of reproduction types and first uh, reproduction is commonly the two types one is sexual reproduction and second one asexual reproduction so in that what are the difference in between two sexual means the gametes are present male and female gametes are present is called as sexual reproduction asexual reproduction without gametes we are going to get the new new things are new plants is called as asexual reproduction so is a with gametes the without the gametes but overall the reproduction means they are going to give the new plants. So that is the first type sexual or asexual reproduction in plants and animals also. When we are look in about the plants and animals commonly the lower plants and higher plants. In plants also you can take small smallest plants and like the middle plants and higher plants will be according to their height according to their internal structure. In animals only two types that is a lower animals and higher animals. So here reproduction also commonly the higher animals higher plants are involved in as a sexual reproduction but in lower animals maybe in the plants are animals is involved as a asexual reproduction. So here types are given there these all are belongs to lower animals and lower plants also known as asexual reproduction. Uh, one more name also there it will be called as vegetative propagation this all it will be occurs only that lower animals and lower plants so first one one of the asexual reproduction budding second one is a fission these two we are observing in lower animals as one of the best example is amoeba is a very lower animal and hydra also these two are lower animals in the two lower animals how like the reproduction will occurs first in hydra by the budding so here name only going to show through the bud as a process of asexual reproduction in hydra through the bud hydra going to give as a small hydra it will be called as a daughter hydra so parent hydra and daughter hydra like that we can call as a terminology in budding the process of budding as a asexual reproduction in lower animals through the bud is commonly one small bud like structure it will be arise or appears on the body of hydra it will be grown it will be take some hours only in within hours the uh, hydra is going to give daughter hydras only in within hours through the bud the bud the small bud going to grow as a large otherwise it will be come as a shape of hydra so in that as a asexual reproduction of hydra through the budding so this is a one of the way for that asexual reproduction in lower animals one of the process is budding like that only one one more is a lower animal is amoeba so when you are observed in the amoeba it will be going on asexual reproduction by fission actually fission means they are going to divide it as a two part of their body when we are observed the amoeba commonly it will be present like uh, an amoeba one name is there without any shape not there for whatever the shape it will be changed is every minute so because of that not particularly shape in amoeba like that amoeba it will be so in fission time they are going the nucleus is going to divide is first to two nucleo and then cytoplasm then cell membrane is going to divide two daughter amoeba will form so in the process of fission one amoeba going to change the two amoebas two daughter amoebas first nucleus then cytoplasm will change finally new amoeba will form so in the fission also one of the way in the process of asexual reproduction in lower animals these two are as a lower animals then same we are observed in 
higher animals. In higher animals, commonly the sexual reproduction it will be occurs in higher animals. It will be commonly higher animals all are two types, two kinds. One is a VV parus, one is a OV parus. Then compared to these two, VV parus are is a evolutionarily it is a back. So that it is a previous OV parus and VV parus. Both are higher animals, but little bit change is there in the process of sexual reproduction. In both way, we are going to get new offsprings but here first oviparous is there through the eggs yes through the eggs they are going to give the new animals or new offsprings is called as a oviparous like birds frogs snakes with help of egg they are going to give new animals new organisms in the process of sexual reproduction that is a oviparous viviparous viviparous directly they are going to give Ing ones that is like is carrying is a called as uh, vv parus maybe it's a cow human being so those are not going to give the eggs directly they are going to give ing ones maybe the cow and human being so called as a gestation period the carrying of that baby embryo all those is called as a gestation period in vv parus direct by the eggs oviparous this it will be appears we are look in higher animals like is budding season we are look in lower animals so commonly yes lower animals maximum is a belongs to asexual reproduction only few are lower but they are involved as a sexual but maximum 90 percent is a asexual but all higher animals is sexual reproduction like oviparous or maybe viviparous is like the types some types of reproduction are modes of reproduction.